of enthusiasm, but a bit of uncertainty about what's next, getting ready for what's next. When you get this page of cups, you're also dealing with emotions, feelings, sensitivities, potential, dreams and hopes, inspirations, intuition. But also you're dealing with the energy of practicing and getting better with the pages. You're also dealing with this element of enthusiasm but a bit of uncertainty about what's next, getting ready for what's next. Showing your first impression of something in your face, showing exactly what's going on and not really being able to hide it. Feeling like you're inspired to go to the next level. Getting ready to go to the next level. Also, being in your feelings, imagining love, imagining well-being, imagining being more whole, being more complete, becoming more. Enthusiasm about what's next. Revealing your feelings. Also, someone who's ready to dive into love. Having a crush on someone and not knowing if it's going to be returned or not, but being inspired by what you've seen, experienced from someone else. Starting new love starting a new journey contemplation of a new journey you know getting ready for the new journey recalling the wonderful moments in love recalling the last relationship in love recalling the past uh, reminiscing on what you love reminiscing on what your passions are what started you out on your path Also, finding yourself spiritually and feeling more comfortable with what you've been discovering about yourself in life. Now, when this card is reversed, the meaning, if you choose to use reversals, is going to have an adverse so-called meaning to it or the shadow meaning. So you could be mistaking someone's feelings for something that's not even there. You could pot potentially be feeling like you're too young for romance, feeling like you need more practice to be in love, feeling like you're inexperienced, or it may talk about somebody who's a bit inexperienced in love, who's still practicing and getting ready. Also, overindulging in love, overindulging in your feelings, in adverse feelings and so-called negative feelings focusing on what's not working looking at something else when you have gotten what you wanted but still looking for something else your first impressions of other people and how you feel about other people's thoughts of you feeling like you've got to get yourself ready to impress other people getting ready to put on a show for others and forgetting about your own dreams pretending you're ready but you're really not and you need more practice pretending that you have more feelings than you really do when this card is reversed that's some of what it can mean Peace. What's up, y'all? This is Queen Sarita from NaturallyHighLife.com. I'm sitting up here with some Oracle tarot cards, and I just wanted to tell you about my online course, Awakening to the Intuitive Language of Tarot. 
I'm extremely excited about this because um, I put a lot of time and energy into this course because I really love tarot. So, you know, I have to put my energy into things that I'm actually passionate about. And I've done hundreds of thousands of tarot readings. I've gotten so many reviews from many of you also who have told me, you know, just how much you get from the tarot readings and things that I do. So one of the things that I wanted to do was give you also the tools that I've used to create the type of readings that I've done. So I'm passing on that information because I do have a specific type of way I do tarot readings. And, um, you know, I use some logic and I use some intuition, but I do have a formula and I have had the amazing experience of working with spirit with God creation energy to get better results with my tarot readings and over the years honestly I've only seen the readings get better my confidence has grown uh, I have started a tarot deck as a result of that so after this is up then I have other things I want to be doing but I want you all to know all about my tarot reading course because if I've seen like 4,000 plus of y'all watching tarot videos that you all love, it's actually been more than that. It's like a disservice for me not to promote this. So, you know, I don't, you know, typically I'm not like number one person in line to be like, oh, I got to sell it. But I do have to tell you all about it. And I have been in sales before. And one of the things I haven't done with my business enough, I haven't really promoted like on a wide scale the things that I do enough because at first it was like I was wondering if I would have enough energy to cover everything but I do this is all I do this is what I love to do there's nothing I'd love to do more than teaching sharing exchanging because it allows me to also learn about the topics that I love too and that is like so awesome because this is what I've always dreamed of so I'm going to tell y'all again, check the link below if you want to check out my online course. These are not my tarot cards. This is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck, but I'm going to be doing some readings today and I'm going to use this deck. So yeah, check, 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 check it out. And um, let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Drop them below. I'd love to find those, those comments and then I'm going to go ahead and answer your all's questions. I do want to do a live for you all also, so you can ask me any questions and I can also, you know, give you some specialized classes for this course. Okay. I'll talk to you all soon. Again, my name is Queen Sarita. I am a tarot teacher right now and a psychic and many other things, but we're going to be building on psychic intuition in this course and how you can utilize your own powers and skills your own instincts to move yourself forward in life, but also to do better readings for yourself and plus others, self-development, you know, personal development, all that type of stuff, being more positive, bringing in more money, making money with tarot or some of the things we're going to be talking about. All right. Peace y'all. Thank you.